everyone, Joe McHale here, owner of Best Made Docks on the shores of Cuca Lake and the Finger Lakes on a beautiful almost spring day. Uh, here to do another site visit. So this is a series I'm trying to do for you guys. Uh, a lot of people, they'll be in Pennsylvania or Michigan or, or Maine and they'll say, uh, hey Joe, uh, we want to put a dock in. We think your dock's the best. But the problem is we have no idea, you know, how to tell you what our shore is like, what, what our needs are, how to communicate uh, to you our water depths, our dock length, all those things. Um, and uh, this is gonna be a great example uh, for using what's around you to figure out what you need. Uh, so this customer called me and uh, he was saying, hey Joe, I got, uh, I got some old roll-in docks. Uh, the decking's failing and uh, I'm thinking of either replacing the decking or, uh, or just getting a whole new dock. Uh, hey, can you help me? And so, um, by the way, that's his decking over there, the, uh, the old moldy gross stuff, and you can see why he is wanting to, to replace his dock slash decking. Um, but uh, so this is a great example of uh, looking at what's on shore to pull all the information that we need to be able to supply you with a new dock. So um, he has three sections of dock here. He has, uh, he has two long, four foot wide by 21 foot long roll in sections. Here's section one and here's section two. And then over here, he has a big patio section. Uh, I'll have to measure, but it looks like it's maybe, uh, maybe 12 foot wide or something like that. Um, and maybe uh, 10 foot deep. So um, what I'm gonna do, so he actually wants to keep about this same footprint. He doesn't necessarily need to go out further. Uh, he, you know, what is here works for him. It's just that the dock is old and failing. So a lot of times people will be like, uh, well, I can't go out and measure the water right now. There's ice on the lake. Um, so in which case I usually say, um, uh, either wait for the ice to go out, which is, which is a bummer if you're trying to get rolling on a, a dock early in the season, or uh, do you have an old dock on site? And then people will say, oh yeah, I do have the old dock there. We haven't set it on fire or pushed it off the cliff or anything like, yet like that. Um, so I'll say, well, go out and measure that. Oh, or sometimes I'll say, uh, they'll, they'll say, hey, our, uh, we don't have a dock there, but our neighbors do. And so they'll go over and they'll measure their neighbor's dock. So, um, and then instance they might say, all right, you got uh, one, two, three, four sections, 10 foot long, and I can see the legs are uh, two foot, three foot, five foot, seven foot, and then that's how you know what your legs need to be when you communicate it to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure uh, the distance from deck surface to lake bottom off of these old docks, and then I'm gonna know what we need for the new docks. So let me go do that. All right, so I quickly went through and I measured all of these distances from deck surface to lake bottom. We had about 30 inches, about 40 inches, about 42 inches, and then about 48 inches. So this is really gonna be a pretty easy application. Uh, and this dock that he used before, it wasn't too low to the water, it wasn't too high. It, it, like I said, it worked fine. Uh, it's just that the, everything just started failing on it. The set bolts are froze up, the, the wheels aren't working anymore. Um, so uh, if we mimic this on a 40 foot long dock, uh, all of our measurements should be able to pull off of that. So that's gonna work out great. Now, I'm looking over here at his patio section, and I can see that uh, if we pull measurements off of this, again, same thing, this is, uh, these are right on the end, whereas the other legs run a little bit further. Right here, we're still only four and a half feet. Um, and I can see this is about, probably what, eight feet wide? Good. And it's probably about, uh, I don't know, about 10 feet deep. So the final thing that we need to think about when we're on a site visit like this is uh, how are we gonna get onto the dock? So really there's three options that you're gonna have. Uh, number one is suppose you have a shore deck. Uh, you have a concrete seawall, you have a, a deck that goes up to the edge of the water, there's timber, you have uh, the old timber railroad ties. In that instance, usually it's preferable to, uh, to, to permanently bolt a fascia mount to the front of that, and then you, uh, and then you go out from that, so that's option one. Uh, option two is a four leg section where basically you, you plop your four legs there, your four leg dock there, and then you step up onto it and you walk out from there. Option three, which I think is gonna be best for my customer here, is gonna be a ramp section. So as you can see here, we just got a gravel beach, right? So if we were to go with a four leg section, that means that that goes right here and we have a step up, which is okay, um, but some people might not wanna do that. So the other option would be to do a ramp section. Now where you want to ramp is if you're changing elevation from your start position. So like if you're going from a, from a gravel beach like this up to dock height and then out flat, you want to ramp. Um, uh, likewise, if you had a, suppose you had a rock wall that was up to here and you needed to go down to dock height and then out flat, that's where you'd want to use a ramp section. So uh, I think for this customer, I'm going to recommend a ramp section. Now we had 40 foot of dock. So five sections out, five, eight foot sections out, 
uh, what the customer can do is he can choose to do a ramp and then four sections. So he still gets five sections worth of length, but he gets that nicer, uh, that nicer transition from the shoreline.